Poo Poos. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to the Poo Poos Trap. We get into some stuff over here. We get even real tea. I'll tell you what it is. If you haven't already subscribed, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get updates on when I upload videos. Be mindful that these messages may not resonate. These are general messages. If they do, great. If they don't, you can book a personal reading with me on my website, which is in the description box for you to book to get more in-depth and clarification on what you need to know about your situation and get the tea, get the real tea, because I'm going to give it to you and tell you what's up. So this is going to be for my lovely Libra, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Just a look. A little look in on love, on what you need to know what's coming towards you. Or a update on your relationship status. Libra, Spirits, and Lights. What messages do you have for Libra, Summer, Rising, and Venus for love? How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing great. Feeling great. And I hope the messages you are about to receive is great. Also, I am going to start um, having, okay, hey, I'll focus on the points. I am going to start um, extended reading, so be on the lookout for that. So, Material Harvest came out. I mean, I probably ain't even focused on it. Let's see what else the cards got to say. Money looking good. Money coming your way up. Oh. Prosperity begins. Okay, okay. Thank you. Emotional withdrawal. Yeah, like I said, some of you guys are definitely not even focused on love right now. Um, we got the moon card. Shadow. Okay. Some of you guys are definitely just focused on your uh, finances. You are... Um, Detaching your feelings when it comes to love right now to focus more on what you need to be doing to get more um, financially stable. Look like y'all focused on the bag. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes you got to put love to the side to, you know, focus on the coins. All right, let's clarify. Universe, spirits, and guys, why is material harvest here? Clarify material harvest. Ooh, y'all car wanted to come out of justice. So y'all in y'all own look, feeling y'all self. Get more balance with yourself. Okay, okay. Some of you could have offers coming in and y'all just not interested in them because y'all focused on trying to build more of a future for yourself. Which is very, very good. And yeah, some of you guys are definitely um, taking time to yourself. We have the hermit. Just taking time to yourself, seeing what you need to do for yourself. Taking more care of yourself. Be careful of any deception coming your way or even deceiving yourself. Some of you guys have a decision to make on something. And you, it, the time is now to make that decision. Seven of Swords, there's some guy. I, what I feel like, it's not even deception coming your way. I feel like you guys are deceiving yourselves. And some of you guys could be deceiving yourself when it comes to um, love because you guys detach from love. So we have the Three of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands. So your intuition is telling you something, but I feel like you guys are just waiting for your shifts to come in. I feel like you guys have planted a seed and now you're watching it grow, which is a good thing. So you're being distant from people and I feel like you're going to be very, very... You wait for your um, shifts to come in with something. You are trying to manifest something. You could be keeping quiet about what you're manifesting or what you have going on. 
it's going to be very victorious and you're going to be very passionate about it. Why is prosperity begins here? Some of you guys, a relationship could be um, sneaking in for you, even though you don't want it. Yeah, some of you, yeah, y'all single. Okay, so we got the Nine of Pentacles, or you guys are being just more independent. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Some of y'all, a relationship is definitely sneaking in with the uh, Knight of Cups and the um, Nine of Cups. Knight of Cups and Nine of Cups. You're moving forward. Look, y'all is right under under there, okay? Yeah, what I... A relationship could be sneaking in for y'all and y'all don't even want it. It could be, it could catch you off guard. It could possibly make you happy. Some of you guys are trying to manifest someone back who made you happy that you just had a break from. It could have been something sneaky going on, but um, it's definitely coming back together. Some of you guys are, are very happy with yourself right now. You're just happy being where you are. Why is emotional withdrawal here? Okay. Yep. Y'all yeah, focused on some coins though and more of yourself because we have the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So you guys are definitely juggling some things. I I feel like you guys are juggling um your hustles or what 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 you want to do as far as money or being more stable. Tell me more. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. Now y'all got a y'all got one, two, three, four cards that's pinnacle. No. Five, six, six cards pinnacles. So money is definitely looking good. Like I said, a relationship could be sneaking in and it could throw you off guard. Okay. I thought this was for love. Y'all focused on, you know. But I feel like love is going to sneak, sneak up on you. What other messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus when it comes to love, universe, spirits, and guides? Let's see if we got any flippers. Any flippers. Any flippers. Any flippers. Any flippers. Thank you. Yep. What I tell y'all? Focus on the coins. Occupation. Y'all working y'all ass off. Well, y'all definitely got money coming in. Look, sudden wealth wanted to pop out. Yep. Okay. So, okay. We have false person, thief, thoughts, and great fortune. Look, some with some money. Y'all gonna have money coming in, or y'all are definitely working on that already. But when it comes to false person and thief, I feel like someone that you were involved with that was very deceptive, or it could have been you, um, was just, you know, just fake as hell in a relationship. Um, they stole your time, stole your energy, or some of you guys need to be very mindful on people, on fake people coming towards you, and they want to um, steal things from you or... Um, you know, just drain your energy as well. So let's see what signs could possibly be coming towards you. Some people won't love to come towards them. So, universe, spirits, and guys, what zodiac signs could possibly possibly be coming towards Libra or love, something like in Venus? Thank you. Could be an Aries. Because um, we have Sun and Aries. Number one, New Beginnings, A Leap of Faith. Some of you guys um, are definitely going to be having new beginnings. Because you are manifesting something for your stability. And you're taking a leap of faith to um, be more stable. And take care of yourself. Sagittarius as well. Yeah, you guys are focusing on yourself. Because something went bad in the past. Eclipse in Sagittarius. Number 33. Growth. Success after a setback. 
let's see some what other signs could possibly be coming towards you or any other messages you need to know. Okay, thank you. Another Libra could be coming towards you as well. A Leo or a Scorpio or these, they have these signs in their chart somewhere. Okay, Eclipse and Leo, number 29, compassion, shine, shine brightly like the star you are. And I feel like you guys are already doing that. You could be going through a transformation. Um, moon and Scorpio, number 20, transformation, a change in your emotional life. So you guys could be... Um, definitely be going through a transformation right now. So that could be the reason why you're um, very closed off when it comes to love. Because you're getting yourself together before you try to jump into anything. What other messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love? so we have this situation the situation will improve you might be going through a tough time right now but things will be getting better for you guys okay spirit got a lot to say it's calling for you to um have trust if anything we gotta take action Peaceful resolution. Look for a sign. Let go. Get more information. And ask your angels. So some of you guys need to let go of the thought of something and just, you know, let it manifest. All you can do is just put it out to the universe, which is just ask your, ask your angels for it and just let it come in. Okay, y'all have some quick messages though. Um, I feel like you guys definitely need to get more information when it comes to something. Um, something could be a little rocky right now during your transformation, but it is definitely calling for you to um have trust, but continue to take action on what you need to take um action towards. Some of you guys could be very unsure when it comes to something. Let's see what your advice is. What advice do you have for Libra? Summer rising in Venus when it comes to love. Y'all messages to the point. Direct. Okay. Oh. Okay. That one flipped over, so we're gonna fix that one. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So I feel like that's a part of your transformation. You're already, you guys are, if you aren't doing that, then you will be doing that. Taking care of more of yourself or you need to be um, taking care of more of yourself. Okay, thank you. You guys definitely have something good, good stuff coming your way as well. We have stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you to keep a positive mindset. Some of you guys need to continue to have the faith, believe in yourself. Um, don't let, you know, let stress become a big factor for you. Some of you guys definitely need to um, take more better care for yourself. Life-changing empathy or experience is a time of big and blessed change for you. That's why I said you got things coming in, good things. And God is supporting you each step of the way. So just remember that your angels is with you. The, um, God is with you as well. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Some of you guys need to definitely release things that happened in the past because you're only just holding back or blocking your blessings that's meant, for, meant to come towards you. 
stress reduction de-stress your mind body schedule as you need rest recharge and revive so some of you guys need to stop stressing so much stop being so hard on yourself take care more of yourself um continue to go through this transformation i know it's definitely hard but you guys are definitely going to get through it because we have peaceful resolution here and the situation will improve so you guys can definitely be going through it but also be mindful that love could be sneaking in for you as well so you know i'm just telling you what the tea is but that's all that i have for you guys um don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel drop comments down in the comment section i'll read my comments y'all um if you would like to book a personal reading with me everything is definitely in the description box so i'll talk to you guys later and hope you guys come back and visit me don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to know when i upload videos i love you guys bye poo poos